In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to create your own collage effect. In version 16, there's a new tool to do this. I've had some users say, well, in an earlier version, can I make my own? The answer is, yes, you can. There are several ways to do that. I'm going to show you one in this exercise. It may not even be by preferred way or the most sophisticated way, but it's one way to begin to solve the problem. We'll have another lesson coming up about a different approach. So what I'd like to do here is I have a project and I have just arbitrarily designed a grid uh, for six different objects. Now it's important where you put the grid. I put it, I've placed it on layer number seven because this will be the top layer. Everything else will be behind it. I have one layer for each of the black boxes, which is actually transparent. So uh, one of these will be in layer or track one, two, three, four, five, and six, and this lies on track number seven. So I already have placed uh, a picture on track number six. I'm going to turn that on so you can see it. I basically took an image, we'll click on it here, and I resized it to fit the size of the little square. I also did the same on the right over here with another image. And the images are, still images are easiest to do. I click on the baseball image and here's my image. And it sits on this track. Now visually it looks like they're side by side, but you have to remember that every image and video is actually layered. That's gonna play an important uh, part in what you do. Uh, way back up on track number one, I'll turn that on, I have a picture of a lighthouse. You notice it bleeds over in the other area, but I'm really not worried because it's on the lowest track. So whatever I place in, on a higher track will uh, override this. I could actually take my lighthouse and I could move it anywhere I want. Now it's actually interfering with two tracks, but because it's in track number one, I'll place something over here uh, that will lay on top of it and something over here. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go away from still images and show you how to do a uh, movie clip. So I'll turn th this one on that I've done. And this is an actual clip uh, that I put on track number two. You notice again, it overlies track number one. So let's take two more uh, videos and add them to the mix. I'll put a video of, uh, I have some bikers, I'll put that on track number three and I'll make it fit in the upper right corner. So we'll take this here, we'll drag it down to three, it will fill the screen, then all I need to do is resize it. Okay, and it's now it overrides the lighthouse so I'm going to have to move it, nudge it a little bit. So that gives me uh, two movies as well as three still images. Let's take the last one. We'll take a picture of a waterfall here and put that into track number four. Again, it fills the screen and I get to resize it. But the nice thing about this one is I have still images on five and six. Uh, so now I can put the waterfall anywhere I want here and I don't have to worry about trimming it if I don't want to. Uh, and so the still images will be on, on the top of that. So that gives me all of, my, um, all of my movies and all of my images in each of the frames. Now it looks like we're mostly done, but the problem is we're not. Because if you notice very carefully, these uh, video clips end at different times. And when each one ends, I go ahead and stop it. Okay, it, it ends and there's nothing behind it, so it turns to black or transparent. Now there, uh, in order to fix that, I have to add a freeze frame. But it's important to figure out where I'm going to add it. So I'm going to take um, this particular movie here of these two guys. I'm going to drag it to the right. Because when I add a freeze frame, it will automatically... Um, add a frame, but it will cut, make a gap in everything. I don't want it to make a gap. I want to create the frame here and then I'll drag it back. So we move to the end of this particular video and I'll press the end key. And I need to go back a couple of frames because it ends in black. So we'll stop there. 
And then all I do is right click on the movie, edit video image, and I do freeze frame. And it will add a freeze frame. Now I'm doing it over here because I don't want it to add something and create a gap over here. Then I'll drag it all back. And then I will stretch out the frozen frame all the way to the end. And I'm going to use overwrite in this case because I had some black at the end. So now when I get to this particular movie and we're playing the movie and I come to the end of the movie, it freezes there for the whole duration. I don't have black in the back. Let me do that one more time so you can see again how we do that. I've got another movie here. I'm going to drag it to the right where I can create a freeze frame without any problems. So I'll press the N key. And I, I see here at the end of it, the last frame, I do have an image. So I'll right click, edit video, do freeze frame. Okay, then we'll drag it back to the left side of the project. And I'll click on the freeze frame and we'll stretch it for the duration. So there we go. Now it looks like I'm done, but I do have another problem. If I click over here in the timeline, I notice that uh, the movie is fine, but I lost one of my pictures. Why did I do that? Because the freeze frame, if I double click on the, the freeze frame, the freeze frame actually has black here. So what I need to do is be in my PIP designer on the freeze frame. I double clicked on it. I have to chroma key out the black. I hit chroma key, defaults to black. I don't have to use my eyedropper. Click on OK. And now that freeze frame is not overriding what's behind it. I have to do it for the other one as well. Double click, get into my PIP designer on the freeze frame. Then we chroma key that one, let it default to black and click on OK. And now it's not bothering it. I'm going to pause the video and we'll do the third one. And now as I look at my project, we'll go ahead and click on movie and we'll play it. I have three still images and three videos in my homemade collage. And then when as each of the videos end, and we'll get to a second here where they will, that, that particular video will freeze and the other ones that still have uh, some margin will continue to play. And in this case, uh, this would be the longest of the three. But uh, it's an interesting way to make a simple kind of collage using the tools available in earlier versions of CyberLink PowerDirector.